Welcome to the video presentation on different types of single and three phase energy meters and tamper proof features in energy meters. Although the latest meters are of electronic type, there still exist a lot of electromechanical meters in the power distribution networks. A discussion about them is thus significant. Let us start with electromechanical meters. Today, we will know about the electromechanical meter. There are three phase electromechanical meters. A mechanical meter is usually in a metal case or a polycarbonate body. This meter has polycarbonate body. Let me explain how this meter works. This disc revolves due to the magnetic field built by the current passing through the current coil and the pressure coil. This disc is attached to the spindle and the spindle in turn is attached to the counter. The counter works due to the revolutions of the disc. It is necessary that the spindle remains fixed and stays vertically at a 90 degrees angle. If we try to tilt or twist the meter, it will reduce the speed of revolutions of the disc. This will lead to suspicions that the meter can be slowed down by tilting or twisting it. The meter reading could thus be suspect, that is, it is not giving the correct reading. Also, mechanical parts, such as the spindle, deteriorate over time. The meter reading can also slow down because of this. According to the CEA regulation, the usage, installation of these meters has been stopped from 2005. Instead, electronic meters are being used. These have an LCD display and the reading is clearly visible due to the backlit screen. You can view the date, time and the MDI reading in this meter. Electronic meters have many advantages over the electromechanical meters. Electronic meters can show the connected load as well as the current passing through the meters. Along with the current MDI, these meters also save the MDI for the previous 4 months. Let us now look at the features of a single phase electronic energy meter in detail. Single phase electronic meters are used for loads up to 1 kW to 10 kW. Before installing the meter, physically check the meter's packaging box. Every meter supplied to distribution companies in a cardboard box is thoroughly sealed. First, the box needs to be opened. The box contains one meter and one test certificate page. First, we must check whether the meter is physically intact. There are any breakages or scratches. Or if the seal is broken, the electronic meter has two seals. One seal is put by the company manufacturing the meter. The second seal is put by the distribution company. Along with the meter, a meter test report is also provided by the supplier company. Any single phase meter follows the Indian standard 13779. There are four meters here. Each belong to a different company. The company names are Secure, LNT, Genus, Landis and Gear. All the four meters look different. Let us know about the LNT meter. The nameplate here is blue in color. It is mentioned on the meter that it is a single phase meter or 2 wire AC static watt hour meter. This means that it is a single phase meter. This can be used for up to 10 kilowatt. 2 wire means phase and neutral. The meter records both readings. AC static watt hour meter means that no component of this meter is revolving. On the place of name, CL1 is written. Any single phase meter denotes subclass 1. This means that the accuracy of this meter is plus or minus 1. This meter is certified by the Indian standards, IS. On the nameplate, you can see that the meter number is 5779234. Below the meter, the guarantee period is mentioned. This meter is guaranteed for five and a half years. It was manufactured in February 2016. In this corner, 240 volts is written. The current range is 10 to 60 amperes. Let us next learn about the tamper-proof features. Base and block are pasted with ultrasonic welding. Any time the meter needs to be opened, the needle at the top of the meter is to be used to open the cover. The date and time are displayed. 
it is immune from magnets and so tampering cannot be done using magnets or electromagnets a single wire tamper will be visible and the recording is done here for communication an optical port is given through this all parameters can be downloaded into a computer the display parameters can be seen by zooming in the meter number visible on the nameplate can be seen on display these parameters are visible even in the dark pressing the scroll button displays the date and time reading and the maximum demand maximum demand means the maximum load the consumer has used if the maximum load has been used for half an hour it will be recorded in the meter there are four types of maximum demands mds available md 1 2 3 4 are recorded in the meter every month this md gets reset md 1 2 3 4 is visible in the display the meter has four terminals two terminals are on the left hand side and two terminals on the right hand side the terminals in the left corner and the right corner belong to faces the terminals in the middle are neutral one incoming neutral and one outgoing neutral inside the display there are two types of indicators the first indicator shows earth leakage the second indicator shows time reversal if there is earth leakage its indicator is displayed in case of reverse current due to newton exchange it will be displayed in the time reversal indicator as to how much electricity comes into the phase meter and how much into the neutral meter this is all about a single phase meter all companies have the same parameters let us now look at another type of meter polyphase meter or three phase whole current electronic energy meter till now you have learnt about a single phase meter which is used for a load of 1 to 10 kilowatts kw now we will know about the meter used for a load of more than 10 kilowatts the first category is of 11 to 25 kilowatt this meter is called a polyphase meter this means it can be used to record energy consumption for more than one phase simultaneously let us now go forward just like we had seen the parameters of the single phase meter the same parameters are available in the three phase meter as well there are a few differences and changes in usage in the three phase meter since three phases are used the three phase meter also records consumption in kvah and kvarh with this we are able to check on the meter how much load the consumer has actually used on the site and how much power factor has been used we had earlier spoken about maximum demand md going forward if we speak about the physical properties they are similar this meter is also tamper proof it has such features that if someone tries to remove the top cover and it gets opened there is immediate display showing a cover open symbol along with date and time stamping this meter is immune from any magnetic influence and radio frequency influence even if anyone tries to use electrostatic discharge esd of 50 kbs or above the meter will display the tampering done when it is used like we have mentioned earlier single phase meter has four terminals in the three phase meter there are eight terminals to meet the three phase four wire distribution system requirements the eight terminals are arranged in this way three phases come from above and one neutral four wires are incoming and four wires are outgoing naturally but the sequence is different first the r phase comes then it's outgoing then the y phase and it's outgoing then the b phase and it's outgoing lastly the neutral incoming and outgoing come together this is the sequence of our terminals speaking about the nameplate this meter is that of the secure company they are meters of four companies like genus lnt secure and landis and gear this is written on the nameplate here it is written 20 to 100 amperes of meter like the single phase meter has 10 to 60 amperes this meter is of 20 to 100 amperes this secure meter is used up to 40 kilowatts 
but we will use this for up to 25 kilowatts here 800 impulses per kilowatt hour are used like 3200 impulses are used in the single phase meter here if 800 impulses are completed then the reading will increase by 1 unit on the display let us now discuss about the display parameters the display parameters will be the same the meter will show the requirements as per the three phases that is the kilowatt hour reading md reading date and time will also be displayed parameters are displayed instantly on how much is the instant load the consumer is using and how much of power factor is running the three phase sequences are visible in this as to which phase is available or coming and which phase is not coming suppose of the three phases one phase is used by the machine then which phase is being used by the machine is also displayed this is all about the polyphase meter in this video presentation we have seen the different types of single and three phase energy meters we have also examined the tamper proof features of the energy meters